At 8.46 a.m. on September 11, 2001, hijackers crashed American Airlines Flight 11 into the World Trade Center's North Tower. We lost Captain John Oganowski, First Officer Thomas McGinnis, Jr., Flight Attendants Barbara Arestagui, Jeffrey Coleman, Sarah Lowe, Karen Martin, Kathleen Nicosia, Betty Ong, Jean Roger, Diane Snyder, and Madeline Sweeney. We gather this morning to honor the memories of those who died 10 years ago today. As we reflect on the 10-year anniversary of September 11th and how it has changed us, I know that professional pilots will be forever guided by wisdom, moved by compassion, and led by courage. We continue to strive for safety in the air and for the passengers who entrust their lives to us every day. At 9.03 a.m., hijackers crashed United Airlines Flight 175 into the South Tower, and we lost Captain Victor Saracini and First Officer Michael Horrocks, along with flight attendants Robert Fangman, Amy Jarrett, Amy King, Catherine Labori, Alfred Machon, Michael Tarot, and Alicia Titus. When terrorists hijacked four airliners and used them against our people, our country, and our way of life, they attacked our industry, they attacked our livelihoods, and they attacked our profession as well. And on that dark day, air transportation throughout North America stopped. Airplanes were grounded for days. And thousands upon thousands of aviation workers were forced out of their jobs. Professional pilots felt that devastating impact of the 9-11 attacks for many years. But I'm here to tell you today, we did not let those attacks break us. We did not let our anger, our frustration, and our discouragement defeat us. We pledged to never forget, to never forget the sacrifice of our fellow pilots and flight attendants, and we recommitted to protecting our crews, the passengers, and cargo we carry from further harm. At 9.37 a.m., hijackers crashed American Airlines Flight 77 into the Pentagon. And we lost Captain Charles Burlingame and First Officer David Charlebois, along with Air Flight Attendants Michelle Heidenberger, Jennifer Lewis, Kenneth Lewis, and Renee May. Today serves as a reminder that although our profession was hit hard, we still stand strong, unified, and resolute. Today, we firmly and proudly reaffirm our pledge to never forget and today, we affirm our commitment to continue to stand together, to stay vigilant and actively engaged in every effort to secure our skies. And at 10.03 a.m., United Airlines Flight 93 crashed near Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and the world lost Captain Jason Dahl, First Officer Leroy Homer, and flight attendants Lorraine Bay, Sandra Bradshaw, Wanda Green, 
CC Lyles and Deborah Welsh. On 9-11, the absolute purest in American spirit came to the surface and eventually prevailed. When our pilots and our cabin crews were murdered and their planes were hurled at their defenseless targets, innocent lives were taken from all of us. Then when the passengers rose up on Flight 93, the deadly mission of the terrorists could not be completed. And as the towers collapsed, and the firefighters, and the police officers, and the rescue workers, we watched as they gave their lives freely to save those that they thought could still be saved. Only the spirit that lives within citizens of a free nation can cause such a response as we witnessed that day. Each day since, it has fallen to us as a tribute to them and in memory of their sacrifice to live the way they would have lived and to show each day that the spirit that makes people rise up to help their fellow Americans still burns in each of us. We have all had 10 years of life that they did not get. And we must live in a way that shows that the ties that bind us to them, the ties of spiritual and resolute devotion to this profession that bind us to them cannot be broken, not by time and not by death. Now I uh, ask Vice Presidents Captain Bill Coet and Randy Helling to join me in honoring the crews of American Airlines flight Flight 11 and Flight 77 and United Airlines Flight 175 and 93 by placing this wreath at the memorial. As we remember the victims and the tragic events, where we were, what we thought, and how we felt, we can only hope that this never happens again. Not just on our soil, but anywhere in the world. Today, let's wish for peace on earth. 